Good evening. Today's quote is life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. Today's word is colloquial, used in or characteristic of familiar and informal conversation. In colloquial English, kind of is often used for somewhat or rather using conversational style, a colloquial writer. Now, exercise 6.1, question 5, D part. G of x equal to 0 gives x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. This is cubic equation. So the first root is to be obtained by trial and error method. That is put x equal to 0. We are not getting LHS, M and RHS. So 0 is not the root. 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2 and so on. Here you will notice that for x equal to 1, LHS equal to 0 equal to RHS. So x equal to 1 is one of the roots. Remaining can be obtained by directly dividing this polynomial, this polynomial expression using x minus 1. And the second method is simple one, synthetic division. Write the polynomial in coefficient form 1 minus 2 minus 5, 6. Poly is 0 at x equal to 1. So we write 1 here. This one as it is. Now 1 into 1, the product is written here. Their addition is what? Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Again, product of, see the cursor, minus 1 and 1 is minus 1. Add them. Addition is minus 6. Minus 6 into 1 is minus 6. See, this is check. Remainder should be 0. Then only we can say that it divides completely. Okay. Therefore, which is the other factor? other factor is x square minus x minus 6. Can we factorize this again? Yes, we can. The factors are x minus 3, x plus 2. You should be able to write these factors directly. Okay. Therefore, g of x equal to 0 gives. Now, x is 1. So, that factor is actually x minus 1 x minus 1, x minus 3, x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, I'm omitting one step. I'm directly writing x equal to 1, x equal to 3, x equal to minus 2. Okay. Now, I'm writing this answer, but this is the incorrect way of writing it. I'm saying solution set. It says solution set is, now tell me why this answer is not correct. This is not the correct way to write the answer. Can you tell me the reason for that? Yes, you are absolutely right. See, this is an ordered triplet. These are the values of x only, right? So this is just a set. So elements are to be enclosed. See, SS stands for solution set. So curly bracket. Okay, these are the values of X. Good. Now write this. If you have finished, don't wait. Go for sub number six. So you should have you should have hard copy of the textbook. They are available in bookstores. Uh, hope uh, you have finished writing the solution of the previous sum. Okay, I will wait. Question six: Find x if f of x equal to g of x, where fx is x raised to 4 plus 2x square, gx is 11x square, simple one. Now many students have habit of dividing by x square. Remember, x can be 0 and division by 0 is not allowed. So take x square common to get in bracket x square minus 9. So either x square equal to 0 
that is x equal to zero or x square minus nine equal to zero. That gives me x square equal to nine. So it is x plus minus three. So the answer is, in fact, there are three values of x: zero, three, minus three. This is a part. Now b part. f of x is given to be g of x. Substitute the values. f x is given to be root x minus three. And g x is given to be phi minus x. You have to square. So what is difficult? Squaring. That part is difficult. What is root x minus three square? It is x minus. One minute. I'm sorry. Uh, if you square as it is, that that won't help. So you have to rearrange the terms. So I write this as I'm sorry. Root x equal to eight minus x. Now you have to square. See if you square as it is, that won't help because again root will be there. So I rearrange the terms. I shift this minus three to right hand side. So root x is now eight minus x. Now this will definitely help. So if you square, then x equal to what is eight minus x square? It is sixty four minus sixteen x plus x square. So you get a quadratic equation: x square minus seventeen x. Plus sixty four equal to zero. Can you obtain the values using factorization method? Not possible. So use the formula. See that is why I always say that basics are important. If you remember the formula for finding roots of a quadratic equation, minus b. So I'll directly write seventeen plus minus root of b square. What is square of seventeen? Two eight nine. Minus four AC, so four into one into sixty four. Okay, divided by two A, so two into seventeen. Simplify this. So this is seventeen plus minus. Now this is two fifty six, so two eighty nine. Minus two fifty six, so root thirty three. Let's check this. Root thirty three upon not two into seventeen, two a. So two into what is a one? Now you have to be very careful. What is approximate value of root thirty three? Okay, it is in between five and six. So seventeen plus five, seventeen minus five, both are positive. So both these values are valid. See why I'm saying this? Because if this is negative, root of negative number is not real. Now you may say, but yes, it is defined. It is uh, complex. Hereafter, by function we mean real valued function. So, but that question doesn't arise here. So these are the values. Let's check this. What are the values of x? Seventeen plus minus root thirty three upon two. These are the values. Okay. Question seven. If f of x equal to a minus x upon b minus x, f of two is undefined, and f of three is five. Find a and b. See, this is f x. So it is f two. You should know the concept of value of a function at a point. Replace every x by two, so f of two is a minus two upon b minus two. Now they say it is not defined. Function is not defined if denominator vanishes. So b minus two must be zero. That is b must be equal to two. Okay. So f of x now becomes a minus x upon two minus x. Now they say f of three equal to five. According to us, what is f of three? It is a minus three upon two minus three, but it is given to be five. Simple. 
and therefore I can say a minus three equal to minus five. So a equal to minus five plus three, that is minus two. So answer, actually they should have asked to find f of 11 or f of 13, etc. But we are asked to find the values of a and b only. So it is better if you write answers separately as a equal to minus two and b equal to two. Now this question is very, very important and uh, solution, most of the students find it uh, difficult. Uh, find the domain and range of the following functions. First, I'll explain the meaning of domain and range. Set of all values which can be assigned to X constitute the domain and set of all values of the function, that is set of all possible values of FX is the range of the function. Now this is a polynomial function. You can assign any real value to X. See, for us, the maximum possible domain is always capital R, set of real numbers. So that is the maximum possible domain, universal set. Now don't say complex numbers because we are interested in real valid functions. So what is the domain? Capital R. Now what is range? You may directly say, sir, again, it is set of real numbers. No, I'll explain why. This is the standard procedure. This is FX. I have underlined these two terms. Take seven common from these two terms. Why seven? Had it been minus 11 X square, I would have taken minus 11 common, simple. So I get this. Now, this can be perfect square of x plus 2 by 7. Why 2 by 7? Why not 12 by 7? Because when you square, it is always 2 times the product. So working rule is divide coefficient of x by 2. 4 upon 7 by 2 is 2 by 7. Now tell me what is x plus 2 by 7 square? x square present 2 times the product present plus 4 by 49, not there. So to make his up, barabar, subtract, but that too within bracket. Rest as it is. Now open the bracket, 7 into this, minus 28 by 49, minus 1 as it is. So 7 into this, minus 77 by 49, divide numerator and denominator by 7 to get 11 by 7. So ultimately, what is fx? 7 times x plus 2 by 7 square minus 11 by 7. Note that square of every real number is non-negative. I repeat, square of every real number is non-negative. So it is either 0 or greater than 0. See, had it been x minus 1 crore square, Still, I would have written the same. Square of x minus 1 crore is either 0 or positive. Okay. Now, we should obtain f of x here. For that, I will have to multiply by 7. Multiply 7 uh, by 7. 7 into 0 is 0. Can I say this is fx? No. Minus 11 by 7. So, subtract 11 by 7. So, you get 7x plus 2 by 7 square minus 11 by 7 is greater than or equal to minus 11 by 7. But this is nothing but fx. So assign any real value to x. f of x is always greater than or equal to minus 11 by 7. So minus 11 by 7 till what? Till infinity. Because there is no last positive real number, right? And that is why I have shown this by a semi-open interval because infinity is not a real number. Okay. And what is the minimum value here? Minus 11 by 7. It occurs at which point? Use common sense. Suppose x is minus 2 by 7. Minus 2 by 7 plus 2 by 7, 0. Yes, minus 11 by 7. Otherwise, for all other values of x, function has value more than minus 11 by 7. Now, second function is g of x equal to x plus 4 upon x minus 2. 
see we are going to call this as a rational function now rational function is always defined provided denominator is not zero now can denominator be zero yes at x equal to 2 denominator vanishes that is why i have written g is not defined if x is 2 so domain is set of all possible values which can be assigned to x so x can assume any real value except 2 so you can write domain in two ways all x such that x is a real number but x not equal to 2 or just say r minus 2 but put this in curly bracket okay now let me explain what do you mean by range set of all values of the function that is set of all values of y set of all images so let y be this cross multiply let me explain first cross multiply rearrange the terms so obtain this as x equal to so x equal to this now if y is 1 tell me whether x exist for y equal to 1 no this means the number 1 in the codomain has no pre image in the domain so there is no value of x for which y is 1 now you may ask but it it can happen no it should not why because when i say that domain is r minus 2 it should be defined for all values of x in this particular domain okay so i have written if y is 1 we cannot find x such that g of x is 1 so what is the range range is all real numbers except 1 okay so this is the answer c h of x is root x plus 5 upon 5 plus x means x plus 5 that is 1 upon root of x plus 5 now clearly h is defined if x plus 5 is greater than 0 had it been in the numerator only i would have written greater than or equal to 0 because root 0 is real but this is in the denominator right so if x plus 5 is 0 denominator becomes 0 so that is absurd and that is why i am saying x plus 5 has to be positive that is x greater than minus 5 so what is the domain all real values except or x such that x is a real number and x is greater than minus 5 so it is open interval minus 5 to infinity see you have to be very careful while writing this greater than minus 5 but not equal to minus 5 greater than minus 5 till what infinity but infinity is not a real number so we write like this now listen to me carefully this root x plus 5 is definitely greater than 0 because by root we mean positive root i'll explain that also and its reciprocal is definitely greater than 0 so what is range because this is h of x h of x is greater than 0 so range is 0 to infinity open interval i can i write this as r plus yes i can r plus means positive real numbers Zero is neither negative nor positive, so all positive real numbers. This is the range. Just a minute. See here after by root we mean positive root. Y equal to root x. If this is the function, and if you say plus minus, that is not correct. So if you say for x equal to four, we should get two minus two. Wrong. Why? Because this becomes one many. So by root we mean positive root. Is that clear? a uh, d question d f x is what cube root of x plus 1 see cube root of negative number is also defined so what is the domain any real number had it been root square root of only non negative number is defined but cube root of any real number is defined so x plus 1 can assume any real value so x can assume any real value so domain is r now suppose y equal to fx equal to this so cube so what is y cube x plus 1 so what is x y cube minus 
right? Now, for any real value of y, x is always defined. That is for any real number in the codomain, there exists corresponding pre-image in the domain. So, range is R. Now, this is the most important one. Fx is root of. See, whenever there is root, you have to be extra careful. Fx is root of x minus 2 into 5 minus x. Okay. Now, if you open the bracket, you get root of x square plus 7x minus 10. Now, clearly, f is defined if minus x square plus 7x minus 10 is non-negative. That is greater than or equal to 0. See what I have done? I have taken minus sign common from these two terms. Rest as it is. Now, x square minus 7x can be perfect square of x minus 7 by 2. You have to use brackets. You have to be very careful. Square this x square present minus 2 times the product present plus 49 by 4. Not there. So, subtract. Rest as it is. Open the bracket. Minus, 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 plus, minus 10 as it is. 49 by 4 minus 10 is 9 by 4. So, 9 by 4 minus x minus 7 by 2 square is greater than or equal to 0. See, we have begun with this. Okay. This trinomial. And we express this as what? 9 by 4 minus square of x minus 7 by 2. See, I have given number 2 because we have to make use of this fact while obtaining a range of the function. Now, we are in the terms this two this side. So, 9 by 4 greater than or equal to this means this is less than or equal to. I have We have done this in bridging course and I think a uh, few days back, how to solve this inequation. x square great, less than or equal to a square means minus a less than or equal to x less than or equal to a. Now, a square is 9 by 4. So, what is a? 3 by 2. So, minus 3 by 2, less than or equal to x minus 7 by 2, less than or equal to 3 by 2. Now, domain means set of all values which can be assigned to x. We do not want x minus 7 by 2. So, add 7 by 2, minus 3 by 2, plus 7 by 2 is 2. x minus 7 by 2, plus 7 by 2 is x. 3 by 2 plus 7 by 2 is 5. So, x has to lie between 2 and 5, both inclusive. So, what is the domain? Closed interval 2, 5. Now, you can verify. Assign any real value, including 2 and 5. Between 2 and 5, you will notice that fx is defined. So, that is the domain. Now, range. See, uh, fx is originally it is given as root x minus 2, 5 minus x. But on simplification, what is x minus 2 into 5 minus x? This. Let me explain. Now, square is never negative. So, square is greater than or equal to 0. Non-negative means greater than or equal to 0. Now, we need minus. If multiplied by a negative number, inequality reverses, 0 into minus 1 is still 0. I will give one example. 7 greater than 0. But minus 7 less than 0. Now, add 9 by 4. Okay. Now, take roots. Note that by root, we mean positive root. So, I will not write minus 3 by 2 because minimum root is 0. So, 0 less than or equal to root of this less than or equal to 3 by 2. But this is nothing but fx. So, fx lies between 0 and 3 by 2. So, what is the range? Closed interval 0 to 3 by 2. I repeat this. You may again, you may ask me uh, when you take roots, we usually write minus 3 by 2 less than or equal to. No, because by root we mean non-negative root. Okay, so it is either 0 or positive. So begin with 0 and end with 3 by 2 because 9 by 4 happens to be square of 3 by 2. Now, listen to me carefully. This is 
again an important and interesting sum f x is root of x minus 3 upon 7 minus x now f of x is defined if expression under radical sign is non negative that is zero or greater than zero at the same time denominator should not be zero that is x should not be 7 okay now what do you mean by positive rather in which cases this is positive plus upon plus is plus but minus upon minus is also plus so x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0 and 7 minus x greater than 0 that is uh, or one more case numerator is negative and denominator is negative okay now x minus 3 less than or equal to 0 and 7 minus 6 less than 0 means what x is less than or equal to 3 and x greater than 7 is it possible that x is less than 3 and at the same time it is greater than 7 impossible okay so x minus 3 upon 7 minus x is greater than or equal to 0 if x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0 and 7 minus x is greater than 0 that is x is greater than or equal to 3 and x less than 7 is it possible yes so in that case we have to say 3 less than or equal to x less than 7 so assign any real number any real value to x between 3 and 7 3 included 7 excluded this is always defined okay now what is the range see y is root of this it is greater than or equal to 0 because by root we mean non-negative root. So y is this for all x belonging to this and therefore what is the range set of all non-negative real numbers that is you may say semi-open interval 0 to infinity or you may say r plus union 0 because 0 is neither negative nor positive. Okay, so that's it for today.